Using modern technologies, Nazi Germany hoped to turn the tide in the final days of World War II. Among their most ambitious projects was the Horton HO-229, a jet-powered flying wing that bore striking similarities to modern stealth bombers. This is the story of the HO-229, the first aircraft to become the great-grandfather of the B-2 spirit, the visionary Horton brothers. Reamer and Walter Horton were visionaries, not just aircraft enthusiasts. Brothers from Germany, who were born in the early 20th century, were fascinated by aerodynamics and aviation. By the 1930s, their work was already pushing the envelope, experimenting with flying wing designs with tails, an innovation well ahead of its time. The Horton brothers believed that the flying wing layout provided exceptional aerodynamic efficiency. Eliminating the tail and fuselage reduced drag and increased lift-to-drag ratios, resulting in a faster, lighter, and more fuel-efficient aircraft. These gliders were genuine demonstrations of what was possible, not just philosophical difficulties. The Hortons honed their capacity to construct strong but lightweight airframes, which would eventually prove useful in the HO-229 design. The Hortons saw an opportunity to improve their inventions when World War II began. They submitted their flying wing concept to the Luftwaffe, convincing military officials that it could provide Germany a new advantage in aerial warfare. Despite their limited resources, the Hortons showed incredible creativity. Their designs were not only innovative, but also practical, utilizing cutting-edge construction techniques like wood and fabric composites to create lightweight airframes. High-ranking Luftwaffe officials were lured to these preliminary tests, which laid the groundwork for their most ambitious project yet, a jet-powered flying wing capable of revolutionizing combat. The Birth of the HO-229 in 1943, the Luftwaffe issued the 3 times 1000 command, requiring an aircraft capable of carrying 1000 kilograms of bombs across a 1000 kilometer distance at 1000 kilometers an hour. Most aviation engineers of the day would have considered this impossible. However, the Horton brothers thought it to be a perfect challenge. To meet these goals, the Hortons designed the HO-229 with a sleek, tailless flying wing. This design lowered drag and enabled previously unthinkable combinations of payload capacity, speed, and range. It was unlike anything the world had ever seen, an airplane designed for the future. The airplane's airframe was built using advanced composite materials and wood. This made it lightweight and provided some radar attenuation, which was eventually identified as an early kind of stealth technology. The HO-229 was powered by two Jumo 004 turbojet engines, which were similar to those used in the ME-262, the first operational jet fighter. The Hortons achieved a better aerodynamic profile by incorporating these engines directly into the wing structure, hence enhancing the aircraft's performance. Designed to strike quickly and dodge enemy defenses, the HO-229 was compact and efficient in comparison to the massive, heavy bombers of the day. It was more than just a bomber. It was a glimpse into the future of aviation, combining cutting-edge technologies into a daring vision of what flying could be. Rough aerodynamic testing anchored the design process in more than just aesthetics. Wind tunnel testing revealed HO-229 flying wing variants that significantly reduced drag and improved stability at high speeds. These revelations not only validated the Horton brothers' vision, but also demonstrated how science and engineering could work together to create an aircraft that was far ahead of its time. A glimpse into stealth. The HO-229 was an unintended pioneer of stealth technology, not just an improvement in aerodynamics. Its flying wing shape and use of wood and composite materials made it naturally difficult to detect on radar. Although stealth was not an intended capability, the aircraft's radar profile was significantly smaller than that of conventional bombers. The HO-229's radar evading abilities could have been quite useful in an era where large, plainly visible bombers predominated. Its ability to approach targets while being invisible to radar represented a fundamental shift in aerial combat operations. The HO-229 provided a glimpse into the future, even if the Luftwaffe never fully appreciated the potential of stealth during World War II. Later, 
the concepts driving its low radar visibility would become the foundation for modern stealth aircraft such as the B-2 Spirit. There are striking similarities between the HO-229 and current stealth bombers. From its bat-like shape to its integrated jet engines, the HO-229 paved the way for advances that were not fully achieved until decades later. Although the HO-229 was never involved in combat, its stealth capabilities represented a watershed point in aviation history. It was more than simply a bomber. It was a blueprint for military aircraft design, demonstrating that invisibility in the skies may be just as vital as speed and firepower. The unintended employment of radar-absorbing materials heightened interest in the HO-229 stealth capability. Aside from weight savings, the composite and hardwood structure offered the added benefit of damping radar signals. This natural stealth potential suggested a design philosophy decades ahead of its time, which modern engineers would later refine into purposeful radar-absorbing equipment. Testing the Limits Designated V-1, the first HO-229 prototype glider took to the skies in 1944. This early model evaluated the aerodynamic stability and control of the flying wing without engines. The results were encouraging, confirming the Horton brothers' ideas. Their sleek design allowed for smooth, steady flying. The second prototype, V-2, delivered on the HO-229's promise. The aircraft achieved test flight speeds of over 600 miles per hour using twin Jumo 004 engines, which were also used in the ME-262. This made it one of the fastest aircraft of its time, outperforming most Allied fighters. According to test pilots, the HO-229 was exponentially responsive and capable of quick turns and fast climbs, qualities uncommon to bombers of the time. In principle, its agility and speed made it a formidable combatant capable of both bombing runs and dogfights when required. The HO-229 did not, however, arrive without incident. Its experimental nature necessitated ongoing structural alterations and upkeep. Engineers discovered issues with the aircraft's durability under stress, particularly around the wing roots, where the strain from quick motions was focused. Tragically, an engine malfunction took down the V-2 prototype, highlighting the difficulties of developing such an advanced technology during wartime. Despite this setback, test flights demonstrated the HO-229's potential as a revolutionary aircraft, inspiring future aircraft programs. To increase the HO-229's performance, engineers put it through intensive wind tunnel testing. These tests identified areas where the design excelled and where modifications were required, providing vital new insights into the aircraft's aerodynamic behavior. The results confirmed that the flying wing concept was not only feasible, but also capable of setting new norms in efficiency and speed. A Lost Opportunity Despite its promise, the HO-229 struggled uphill as Germany's war effort failed. Resources were limited, priorities shifted, and current aircraft designs overwhelmed production lines. The Horton brothers fought for the funding and support needed to put their groundbreaking aircraft into full-scale production. Only three prototypes were developed before the war's end. The V-3 prototype, intended to perfect mass manufacturing, was left incomplete as Allied troops focused on Germany. The Horton brothers' dream of flying a fleet of HO-229s into the heavens was never realized. When Allied forces took the Horton site in 1945, they discovered the finished V-3 prototype and other project remnants. Understanding the importance of the design, the aircraft was sent to the United States for analysis by American engineers as part of Operation Paperclip. Today, the V-3 prototype remains one of the most remarkable remnants of World War II aviation. Its preservation enables historians and engineers to evaluate the innovative design and speculate what could have happened if the HO-229 had been employed in combat. Had it been built and used earlier, the HO-29 could have changed the rules of aviation combat. With its speed, agility, and stealth, the Luftwaffe had a significant advantage over Allied bombers and fighters. However, history had other ideas, and the HO-229 remains an intriguing what-if in the annals of flying. Instead of becoming a war trophy, the discovery of the HO-229 served as inspiration. 
Inspired by its innovative design, Allied engineers took through notes and measurements. These insights would have a profound impact on post-war aviation achievements and inspire a rush of innovation, bridging the gap between wartime research and the jet age. Influence on Modern Aviation Although it was created in the 1940s, the Horton HO229 has a legacy far into the future. Decades later, its innovative concepts would resurface in the creation of modern stealth aircraft. The Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, one of the most advanced bombers in history, has exceptional flying wing form and a radar evading profile that's very similar to the HO229. Post-war research in the United States and the Soviet Union focused first on the Horton Brothers flying wing concept. Experimenting with the same tailless designs that made the HO-229 so innovative, aircraft like the Northrop YB-35 and YB-49 kept the flame alive. Although the HO-229 stealth properties were unintended, its significance on radar evasion technology is undeniable. Engineers studying its construction learnt valuable lessons about lowering radar cross-sections, directing military aviation, and creating the stealth features we know today. Modern aircraft now come standard with streamlined designs, internal engine integration, and an emphasis on minimizing drag, all of which were pioneered by the Horton brothers. The HO-229 was a model for the future, not just a throwback. From its flying wing design to its radar-resistant structure, the HO-229 remains one of the most important aircraft ever created. Every stealth bomber that flies has evidence of its legacy that even unfulfilled dreams can impact the course of history. The impact of the HO-229 extended beyond its appearance. Its construction procedures also left a mark. Inspired by wood and composites, future research on lightweight, radar-absorbing materials was directed. These early concepts eventually evolved into the complex stealth coatings and composites used in aircraft like the B-2 Spirit and F-35 Lightning II. The HO-229 in Popular Culture The Horton HO-229 has provided significant inspiration for both artists and aviation enthusiasts. Its sleek, futuristic design and enigmatic history have come to symbolize ambition and inventiveness in wartime aircraft. The HO-229 continues to pique the interest of filmmakers and computer game developers alike. In the gaming world, the HO-229 is a popular choice among players who appreciate its unique design and cutting-edge technology at the time. Flight simulators contribute to the preservation of this revolutionary aircraft's heritage in virtual worlds by allowing users to experience what it was like to fly. The aircraft's odd shape and advanced design are also common themes in speculative fiction. Its bat-like appearance and historical mystery fit perfectly with stories about what may have happened if it had fought in World War II. Aside from its prominence in the media, aviation enthusiasts are very interested in the HO-229. From scale models to detailed artwork, its story of origin and potential as a what-if weapon of war inspires frequent fan creations. HO-229's popularity ensures that its narrative will continue to inspire people. It's more than just an aircraft. It represents audacious engineering and the potential of imagination to capture our attention. With aviation enthusiasts applauding its original design through collector models, detailed technical instructions, and even artwork, the HO-229's legacy extends beyond commodities and souvenirs. These objects not only honor the airplane's past, but also introduce it to future generations of aviation enthusiasts. The Horton HO-229 was a vision of what could be, not just a fantastic airplane. This experimental aircraft, with its unique flying wing design, first-rate stealth properties, and continued influence, is one of the most significant in aviation history. The HO-229 never saw combat, yet its legacy lives on. It reminded us that even the most bold ideas may have a long-term influence and helped pave the way for advances that define the the cutting edge of military aviation today. We appreciate you joining us on this journey through the history of the Horton HO-229. If you enjoyed this in-depth look at one of the most spectacular airplanes in aviation, please like, comment, 
and subscribe for more Sky Stories. Tell us in the comments whether the HO-229 was the great-grandfather of stealth bombers or simply a brilliant experiment ahead of its time. Continue exploring the airplane universe until next time.